Hey everyone, and welcome back to my completionist playthrough of the Baldur's Gate saga with SCS. And uh, continuing here in the Druid Grove, but before we get into all of the action up ahead, uh, I just wanted to mention a couple of things that I simply forgot to say in the previous episodes. Uh, so first off, I just wanted to, to mention that um, after we accept the mission from Lord Logan Coprith to investigate the Druid Grove and the animal attacks, uh, if your protagonist is evil aligned, uh, after we exit the mayor's building, we would be approached uh, by a Lord Kellen Menold, uh, who would offer an, an alternative solution to these attacks, and that is to poison the Druid Grove. And uh, generally, that just involves a different outcome at the end of this place, so we would still have to go through the Druid Grove as we're going through it right now. But uh, at the end of it, uh, you can do something differently, and hopefully I will remember to mention that once we, we get there and elaborate a little bit more on that. Um, also, I just wanted to mention why I used Oils of Speed on uh, Jahira, Senashira, and Kirinai last episode instead of Dispel Haste, for example. Uh, first of all, the effect lasts longer and there's plenty of fights in the Druid Grove, so we're going to keep this Haste effect uh, for uh, quite a few fights here, because there's basically like an encounter after encounter after encounter here in the, the Druid Grove. So that's one reason, but also um, since we already traveled from Athkatla to Trade Meet and then from Trade Meet to the Druid Grove, uh, my characters are already quite tired, uh, and I think Senashir is already fatigued. Yeah, uh, but generally the the characters are tired, so basically after one haste spell, they are sure to become fatigued, and I don't want to have that status effect on me yet, because I think we still have a couple of fights to do before we rest. We'll see how everything will work out, but uh, yeah, that's that's the reason. And also, uh, last thing, we I completely forgot to even check CERN's spells. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure his selection is tolerable, but let's just take a look and uh, confirm. All right, so he has one bless. Well, this is just level two druid. <laughs> what can you What can you do? Uh, here he has one call lightning, which uh, actually in the druid grove this is a nice place to actually get to use this spell because this is pretty rare that we would be outdoors facing some encounters when that might be useful. Alright, he has one Nymph. Oh, oh my god. The, the level 5. Oh, I just can't even look at it, man. Okay, and he has no access to level 6. Alright. Also, I think we're going to have him fight a little bit in his werewolf form now, because the next encounter is going to be against some, some spiders, so we can inspect that form. Uh, 19 strength, 16 dexterity, so he has better armor class. He His stacko is not so bad. He has 2 attacks per round at a okay damage so he's going to be able to contribute a little bit and also I'm going to have Anoman um, cast some spells on him I think we are going to do a couple of fights and then rest before Senashira's big fight in, the, in uh, the Druid Grove so I think we can be a little bit more liberal with our spells here um, yeah. you can throw in a bless and also we have to get this ring onto Senashira I think we're going to give Edwin some mirror images because there might be some phase spiders that could potentially teleport right next to him and harass him, so we'll see. Alright, here are the spiders. There is one phase uh, spider that went close to to our back lines here, to Anomen. Alright, goodbye phase spider. <laughs> this is a very easy encounter, like at this point in the game spiders are no match for us. I think even in Baldur's Gate 1 when we were in Cloakwood, uh, spiders were already pretty easy for us. The, the only thing that we had to look out for back then was that phase spider poison, uh, so that it wouldn't tick uh, for too long on our characters. Alright, so that's it. But now we're back to fighting trolls. And um, there's a big troll encounter coming up in, in a building, in, in a troll mound, basically. But first, we also will have like two other troll groups. And I think... Okay, th this one you can stay in werewolf form, I think, Cerned. Uh, here, what's your HP? You're at max, so let's have Kirinai regen a little bit. And... Next up, I think we can go as we are, maybe throw in a little uh, chant here. Alright. Now oh, some spider straggler here, and an cap. 
Right, and here we have uh, a group of trolls, uh, and there are going to be a few spectral trolls here. And they're a little different, uh, they are a little tougher than normal trolls, and they also drain strength, so... Yes. We only have one mirror image left on the center. I think I'm going to switch to throwing some daggers on Kirinai. And we're going to stay with Senashira for a moment in the back, so they can actually focus their attention on Jahira and Cerned. I guess the best Cerned can do right now is serve as a distraction for them and just occupy their attention a little bit. Oh yeah, so let's focus our attention on the Spectral Troll. Let's get rid of them. Uh, they are not too bad, it's just that they do drain strength, so it's going to be a little annoying. And we want to... Yeah, she's still at 16 strength. And we don't want them to uh, drain us anymore. Alright, so one of them, or maybe... Yeah, one of them is down. So let's quickly finish off like, another one. I guess he he's ha has had enough. Well, one thing about... Uh, the thing about trolls and like damaging da them down to that uh, like near-death status where they are supposed to fall down to the ground, uh, sometimes it does not activate right away. Sometimes it takes uh, a second to for that to activate. Alright, so that did. We can use a little fireball from Edwin to finish these guys off and have them come a little closer. Alright, and now the last s spectral troll needs to die. Alright, he's down. Both of them down. Alright. So I guess maybe now let's have Senashira throw in a fireball here. Boom. Alright, so we're done with this, but now comes another spirit troll encounter. They are going to be in front of this, uh, this like, troll mound, I guess. And uh, inside there's going to be a major encounter. Uh, so how will we do this? What's your... Okay, still 16 strength. We can approach with our characters, but actually, let's get this um, spell immunity to enchantment on you, so that you don't get susceptible to command, to that greater command that they can throw in. Okay, and uh, actually, you know what? We're going to have Cerned in his human form. Perhaps he can throw that coal lightning from a distance. And we're going to keep our three guys here uh, a little closer to the fight, so they can maybe do something useful from a distance. And yeah, so here are two normal trolls, but the spirit trolls should reveal themselves. Okay, here's one of them already. Let's try to interrupt him. Okay, we interrupted his spell. He went invisible, of course, being annoying. As always. Alright, let's switch to melee weapons on Kirinai. This is a normal troll. Okay, another spirit troll revealed himself over here. Now, trolls also um, are actually immune to quite a few effects that you wouldn't maybe suspect them to be immune to. Like, they are immune to stuns, to hold effects, they are immune to confusion, so our chaos spells, for example, wouldn't uh, work on them. And that's why I'm not summoning the nymph uh, from Cerned, because her spell selection, well, generally, it's is better than his selection, <laughs> I have to say, but not against trolls, specifically. Alright, maybe let's, let's have Cerned approach a little bit closer, and I'm going to uh, cast his Call Lightning on a normal troll, because the spirit trolls like keep going invisible, so his spell spell would fail. Maybe let's have uh, Anaman a little closer, trying to uh, provide some some damage. I don't want Anaman to get his strength drained yet, although he, as a cleric, has a lot of strength buffs, so it's it's not actually that big of a deal. But his armor class is much worse than the three characters we have over here. Alright, so this spirit troll is uninjured. I guess this is the one we have to go for. I think there are three of them here. This one is barely injured, showed himself up. Okay, this one is injured though. Of course, the invisibility going in and out of vision is also kind of annoying because they regenerate. Um, so they kind of, you know, this is also a survivability thing for them. Alright, badly injured. Okay, Cerned was able to do quite a bit of damage onto this normal troll. We, we are not really concerned uh, with the uh, normal trolls, but at least it's it's something that he can do here. Let's have uh, Anoman try to get this spirit troll as well. Contribute some damage. Alright, he, he should go down soon. And there's another spirit troll casting. I think he's casting an evocation spell. I think that's that flame strike. 
All right, Cern actually contributed, whoa, some really sweet damage onto a Spirit Troll now with his Call Lightning. Very nice. That's the power of Call Lightning, man. Once you get the rare opportunity in Baldur's Gate 2 to actually use it somewhere outdoors. Okay, also, uh, a thing that we have to be really aware of is finishing off these Spirit Trolls as soon as they go onto the ground, because they get up very, very quickly after just, I don't know, very few rounds. Um, and I kind of learned it the hard way to to really, as soon as they hit the ground, to do something to finish them off. Because uh, there is no, like, joking around with that when it comes to spirit trolls. Alright, then we have a normal troll and a spirit troll. Let's get these guys back quite, quite far. And let's, like, throw in a fireball here to just finish off these guys. Alright, Jahira, you can stay here. Alright, now let's go back to the fight. And let's bring CERN a little closer, so... Okay, I think his... Yeah, his Coal Lightning is already done. But it, it's done way more... Uh, he has contributed way more than I thought he would. So... He has already done his job here. With that Coal Lightning. Alright, the normal troll went unconscious. We don't really care about that. We really want to focus on that Spirit Troll. Interrupt his cast. He went invisible, of course, again. Oh my god. Okay, in the meantime, we can use a little... Again, as our Scorcher from Edwin to finish that guy off. Alright, and continue on the Spirit Troll. He's near death, hopefully he's going to... Hopefully he's going to fall down. Alright, there he goes. And now I just will wait a little bit for this beam to go away. Alright, and now we can reposition, and Senashira's strength is already drained to... Such an effect, on only 13 strength here. Okay, there's there comes another spirit troll. I'm not sure if we were able to get him down onto the ground earlier and he was just invisible and I didn't pay attention. And he just got up, or was he one that we didn't manage to, to DPS down at all? Okay, of course, as usual, damaging ourselves with our, uh, with our own Ganazar Scorcher Beams. I want to stay put in a second, for a second. Alright, this spirit troll really wants to at attack someone else. And, okay, now he's attacking Kiranai. That's good enough. Let's just try to DPS him down. Alright, I think he's he's had enough. Oh, and as you can see, he went down to the ground, but while invisible. So really, the only thing that you can do is just throw a fireball in that direction and finish him off that way. No Alright, so that wasn't too bad, but unfortunately Sinashira, Sinashira's strength is, is uh, drained a lot. So basically she got six points of strength drained, so even if we buff her, uh, her strength with a pretty serious potion, like I think the best we have right now is the 22 strength potion, that would mean that her strength is going to go up only to 16, and her damage, look at her damage right now, it's just really way, way lower. Okay, so she is going to be kind of out of this fight, unfortunately. She's not going to be able to contribute that much. But I think I am going to use that potion on her. Yeah, we have that Fire Giant Strength potion. I think we are going to get it and maybe use this potion of agility on um, Anaman. Let's drink it while I remember about it. It has a long duration. Oh, we have this uh, Storm Giant. Okay, we have more of these 22 Strength potions. Okay, I am going to then use one of, uh, one of them on Senashira to at least get her movement speed uh, to full because I think with 16 strength, she shouldn't be encumbered. And yeah, she's normal, uh, moving normal. Alright, now, I think we're going to rest after this fight. This is going to be a major one, so I think we can just use uh, our spells. We're going to make Anoman immune to greater command by casting chaotic commands on himself. We're also going to get some protection from evil on him. Uh, I think... Okay, you have Iron Skins, Senashira is going to have Stone Skin, and Edwin is going to have Stone Skin. And Serend is just standing on the side here, <laughs> not being able to do anything, just just feeling like <laughs> pretty bad about himself. Like, guys, what about me? What can I do? 
Well, look at your spell selection, dude. You can't do anything. <laughs> that's that's your fault for having such a spell selection, man. You're like, guys? <laughs> guys, what about me? Okay, anyway. Uh, now we can... Maybe... Um, Okay, the, the other spells Sanashira is going to use, she's going to use right about as we are, um, right as we are about to enter, because they are going to be pretty short duration. Anything other, I don't think we have anything else uh, long duration, although uh, her potion of invulnerability ran out, so uh, we need to get another one on to Kiranai to improve both her saving throws and her armor class. Now Edwin is going to also prepare with some shield and some mirror images. Yes. And also Senashira is going to get some mirror images and some fire shield red. And now she... oh, actually our haste effect um, from our oils of speed and now expired, but we were about to cast haste with Edwin anyway. Uh, uh, oh, also, of course, your, your buffs have expired, Anamen, so let's get you a Holy Power. And a draw upon Holy Might. Senashira might go for a little Armor Faith, perhaps. Alright, uh, now Edwin is going to haste us, Cerned is going to bless up, and Senashira and Edwin are going to get some spell immunities now. So spell immunity to enchantment for Senashira and spell immunity to enchantment on Edwin. And we should be well protected against most of what these trolls are going to be able to offer us. And you can go into werewolf form and let's go in. Alright, so here and there's going to be a major encounter because um, these trolls are spread out all over this area, but with the SCS awareness they are all going to join the fight. I think in the unmodded game you can kind of spread them out into two groups, but in SCS this is going to be a one big encounter with some trolls, some spectral trolls, some spirit trolls, and some giant trolls. Uh, so we're basically going to kind of have... Um, I think we're going to have Edwin kind of like as far in the back as we can position him and we're going to wait a little bit until these trolls bunch up because we're going to then have some uh, effects that do work on them like slow we're going to have prepared for them and uh, you know what you might even throw some daggers for now and we can even throw a little bit of damage just a little fireball to perhaps uh, soften them up somewhere in the distance All right, it, it hit some of them, one spirit troll. All right, now there are some of them are close, so let's focus on this spirit troll. And I think I'm going to keep Cerned in the back a little bit. And also Edwin. All right, here they come. This one spirit troll cast his greater command, but of course it's ineffective on us. Yeah, here come the other guys. All right, here come the giant trolls. All right, now we can start casting that slow on Edwin and uh, hopefully reduce the combat effectiveness of uh, quite a few of them, hopefully. Alright, a, a few of them got slowed, but uh, the effects weren't that spectacular. And I think we are even going to go and uh, cast another slow. This is pretty much the, our prime spell that uh, will actually affect them. Let's, let's cast it over here. And to hopefully get more of them. Alright, the Spectral Troll is near death, and now we have to find the Spirit Troll. Where is he? Okay, he's actually over here. So we are going to focus our main damage dealers onto him. And you know what, Anaman, actually, I didn't really want to cast these, like, high-level spells, but we actually might get go with a little Blade Barrier on you. Blade Barrier is basically a spell that um, the enemies around him are going to have to uh, save every round versus spell or take uh, quite a big chunk of damage. So this is pretty good, a pretty good spell on a cleric of his type, a kind of a frontliner battle cleric that's going to be surrounded by enemies. And here we are surely surrounded by enemies. Or we could actually go with Chant 
I think I'm going to go with Chant. Let's let's not use such powerful spells as uh, or high level spells as um, as Blade Barrier. Maybe maybe not yet in in our playthrough. Let's leave that for a little later. Although we do have access to level six spells on him, but right, that spirit spirit trolls, of course, is uh, going invisible. Okay, he went invisible again, but I want to really focus on him. Cerned is getting damaged a little bit. Let's. Uh, Okay, let, let's let's uh, cast that second slow here. Look at this crowd that we have here. <laughs> okay, uh, a spectral troll is uh, is out. We don't really care too much about him. We really want to get that spirit troll. All right, now quite a few of them got uh, slowed, and we have our chant on us. Okay, so spirit troll. Continue, continuing on him, and I think we might use in this crowd, I don't want to use again as our Scorcher, not to, uh, of course, hit ourselves as usual, but just to finish off the Spectral Troll, just so he doesn't get up and be annoying. You know, I, I don't think I can resist, man. I think I have to get this, <laughs> get this uh, blade barrier. Like, Anaman is literally surrounded by, like, a big crowd of trolls. That could be pretty effective. On them, All right? I think that spirit troll also like suffered some damage. We are going to have to heal Cerned. Okay, th there's the spirit troll. He is uh, quite near his death, and I really want to make sure that he does die. Let's, let's uh, move Cerned a little bit, a little bit uh, like fall back with him. Right, how's that spirit troll doing? He suffered a little bit more damage still. I think he should be... He did not go unconscious yet, right? Yeah, of course, because he's taking damage. He's not immune to damage. So... I, but I think he is basically at that point where he should fall down. So we might be able to switch targets. And maybe just reposition in general in a second. You know, just want to make sure that... Alright, that blade barrier is active now. Um... Come on, Spirit Troll, just just fall down. Yeah, Anaman is doing some quite good damage to, to the trolls around him. Very nice. And is that Spirit Troll still there, man? He went invisible, I think. Just... Okay, now he's unconscious. Now we reposition. Now we just go, 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 everyone. We need to get out of that, that uh, situation. And we're going to throw in a fireball to soften them up and finish up, uh, finish off these ones uh, that are unconscious. Okay, Edwin, I guess, used something. Used his, uh, his slow not too long ago. Alright, boom. Sinashira is, is going to step up then. Alright, so we've killed that spirit troll. That's, that's the most important thing. Okay, now we can go in and and fight them in, in a better position. Some of them are slowed, so it's going to take them a little while to actually get to us. Right, we're going to offer them some damage in the meantime to some other trolls. Okay, now I think we're in the clear. It's all about those really annoying, nasty spirit trolls, but uh, actually the giant trolls can uh, pack a punch, <laughs> as you can <could> see. <laughs> and, and my unwillingness to... Uh, to uh, heal cerned sufficiently has now <laughs> uh, come back to bite us and uh, <laughs> we have to say goodbye to, to cerned for now all right now let's offer them a little fireball we are going to resurrect cerned after this fight we do want him alive but <laughs> that was pretty funny yeah the giant trolls can can offer some damage you know what? Let's let's have a little bit of finesse here and cast this flame blade on Jahira. Let's not be boring and do the same thing over and over again. Now Jahira can finish them off with the fire damage of this flame blade. This was not why I memorized that spell with her. Uh, this is going to come in handy in a later encounter here in the Druid Grove. Uh, but since we're going to rest before that encounter happens anyway, uh, we might use this flame blade on uh, Jahira. It looks cool. Anyway. Before we get to resurrecting Cerned, we have some goodies to pick up. Here's a unicorn spear, 
and here there's going to be the bracers of archery, which we're not actually going to be able to make use of uh, at all on anyone. Uh, those are the plus two Thaco to ranged weapons gauntlets, but I'm going to keep them in my bag of holding because some other temporary members that we're going to uh, recruit later on are going to be able to make some use out of that item. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for now. Although actually, these ones, nope, they can only be used by uh, some kind of a some kind of a fighter basically or thief because uh, later on we're going to have a thief mage and uh, she's going to be using it uh, making use of that, those um, bracers and of course uh, Kirinai cannot because she's a Kensai she cannot equip any uh, any gloves or bracers anyway with a heavy heart we have to waste the charge of our rod of resurrection <laughs> On to Cerned. And get him back up. Tell me, balance, be served. He has some heals though, at least he's a little bit self-sustainable when it comes to that. So at least heal yourself a up a little bit. Okay, but now we're basically almost all fatigued. We are uh, all almost out of spells. Our strength situation is not that bad. But uh, now is going to be the time uh, to rest. But we have to go outside of this mound. Alright. And uh, maybe we're going to get that dream. We'll we'll see about that. And before it? resting we might buff up with something if, if we have something. You know what, just make yourself improved and visible here. And let's have this regenerating on the Seneshira. And let's have this on her. All right, now let's go to, to rest and see if we are successful. All right, the dream is, is upon us. Stand. You rest each night uneasy. Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you fall to their muscle and skill. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. you are owed by the blood in your veins. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you. So yeah, another one of the dreams. These pathetic skirmishes of ours aren't worth the time I spend cleaning my weapons after the battle. Uh, the Order's campaign against the Hill Nasher Giants. Now, that brought the blood up. Okay, if I can finish <laughs> my thought here, Animan, uh, without getting uh, interrupted. Yeah, the, uh, another one of the dreams, of course, uh, again, um, having Irenicus urging us to, you know, uh, unlock our potential, basically, and come to terms with that demonic taint in, in our blood. And that's also an interesting notion that, uh, you know, even if we are trying to be a good person and fight that, uh, that evil influence, he brings up the, the issue of the the power that we need to like grow into I guess in order to overcome the challenges that lie ahead if only to like protect the weak like Imoen appeared there 
uh, you know, so basically, of course, Irenicus has his own interest in us basically like unlocking our potential, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's that's just an interesting notion to think about. And uh, now Animan, of course, talking about some giants. And he's going to claim that he actually killed 20 of them. You know what, Animan, Animan you are very arrogant. Arrogant or extremely competent? Believe what you wish. My tale is true. Well, it probably isn't, dude. But anyway, and now we're going to be... Oh no, I just realized. I completely forgot <laughs> to rework CERN's spells for this rest. We could have have uh, we could have made his selection to be much much better. At least he could have had some chaotic commands to buff others with. Oh my god, that is such a mistake. Well, but anyway, we're going to have to keep working with what uh, he had chosen <laughs> before we recruited him, I guess. But that is a, a pretty big mistake. Uh, but anyway, I was about to say that now we with our spells refreshed and our bodies reinvigorated from that uh, productive rest, I guess, this <laughs> good night's sleep. Uh, now we, of course, have removed fatigue, we are fully healed, we have our spells uh, reloaded, so now we are going to be uh, fully ready for some more adventures in the next episode. So for now, I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.